if I'm not in my uniform, people don't believe that I'm a firefighter. No matter when 11, we have a report of a person trapped in the third floor. She has been one of the best chiefs that we've had in a long time. We're helpers. We are the people helping and going out and doing whatever is asked of us. Hi, my name's Mindy Gabriel. I'm a deputy fire chief in Westerville, Ohio. I'm an accidental firefighter. Most people in the fire service are brothers or sons, and I did not grow up with any firefighters in my family. I just was attracted to the, the way that they helped. I like that they like to get dirty. I like that they were kind of risk takers, but then they're also like super kind, compassionate, like heartfelt people. I was always in athletics, and when I went to Ohio State and studied the exercise physiology, we did testing with the Columbus Fire Department, and I thought, well, I could do that, because I was an athlete and without a team at that point. When I became a firefighter about 20 years ago, they had very long lines. Lots and lots and lots of people wanted to be firefighters, and you had to take a written test, and that would weed out many people and then you had to take qualify to take the physical test. And when they said, well, no women had passed this test, um, I said, well, I could pass that test, so I took it. All right, let's go, let's put this ladder up. Let's get it. When you respond to an emergency, you have to make decisions really quickly. We stay calm and we make decisions. This is a training exercise. We're practicing getting a victim out of the second floor using a ladder called a VES technique. See that you made entry on the A side of the building. Are you getting set up on the, the second floor? Are you doing a search on the second floor? Yeah, I'm searching. I'm going to come out the third floor window. There is always a million things to do on a house fire right away in those first 90 seconds. You have to set the course of how you're going to attack the problem, and you have to manage your resources. What we actually do is not fight fires all the time, is we go out and take care of people that are hurt or sick or dying, and we deal with really difficult things. For me, the sum of the hardest part was just that it's about longevity and endurance. Like when I got on the fire department, I was 23, and I was just single, and I was doing, life was easy working 24-hour shifts, but then I had three children, so I had babies at home, I was nursing babies, babies were crying when I wasn't there, my husband had to take care of kids and you just had to always keep coming back every third day for 24 hours and be gone no matter what. It was Christmas, it was my children's birthday, things were happening and you just had to get really, you just had to miss a lot of stuff. Oh, a second, someone's in my house. Hello? I'm so, oh, I'm so sorry. Rosie? Yes? I'm so sorry. Rosie, come sit and watch Mama get interviewed. Oh my goodness. Okay. okay, you've got to be so quiet. Just, I'm going to shut the door to make sure. Just one moment, I'm so sorry. I love my family and growing my kids. How would my kids characterize me? I would say they would think mom's strong. I get up at 4.50 in the morning to exercise. I've showed up for 20 years into a hard job and I've been able to pull myself back together every day. So I'm very disciplined and focused, and that makes you strong. She's a very special person. She's very good at her job. She is one heck of an athlete. I can't believe how strong she is and how fast she is and how in shape she is. And she puts a lot of us, including myself, to shame when it comes to uh, being athletically fit. A uh, very good role model. Firefighting is, if you distill it down, is about lifting heavy things, repeatedly lifting people. But another part about the fire service is we really have a front row seat for all of humanity. We are doing the dark work of the world. Like, we see terrible things. So we teach people how to take care of themselves in our job. I think it tracks people and to the fire department would be that family component. You live with these people for one third of your life. I share their struggles and share meals and share exercise and share their kids come in and their families. I know everything about. 
I'm very relational with how I lead because I know with good relationships I can get them to help me do anything we need to do. I wear thick boots every day and my feet are always feeling constricted so when I put on my Birkenstocks my feet feel awesome. Feels so good. Feels like a warm hug. A Birk hug, yeah. So if it's like a five-year-old boy and I'm in street clothes, they say, oh, what's your profession? I say, well, I'm a firefighter. Mm-mm, you're not a firefighter. You're like, you're like my mom. I said, well, what's a firefighter look like? <laughs>